this situation is getting crazy and crazier. So I've been reporting um, on this king, this Queen of Kings uh, channel, you know, where this woman Rose Miller and her husband Brett, you know, a couple weeks ago, she went off on her husband and made it viral. But before that, she was parading him all around saying, this is my W savior. And, you know, she was propping him up and, you know, basically in her titles, black men need to do this. Black men need to get this up together and black men need to do this and this and that. But um, it, she doubled down and it got real interesting when her and her mother went at it. And she accused her mother of getting her cheeks clamped by her brother. And then the mother, she came back and responded, you know, and vehemently denied all of those accusations and gave her side of the story. But in light of all this, Tasha K heard it. And she made uh, uh, Tasha K, you know what I mean? She spoke on it first, but then Rose went on to Tasha K for an interview. And oh man, if you'd have heard the Negro explaining, and the, oh my goodness, it was just horrible. But I told you guys that this woman deals with mental health issues, and Tasha K really unpacked her like a suitcase, man. She really went in, went in on this, went in on this woman, um, her body, and just basically broke everything down because this woman, she she speaks and she lies, she lies so much, she begins to believe her own lies. You know what I mean? Believe her own uh, her own foolishness, but let's. Get into what Tasha K, um, you know, the first half of what Tasha K had to say in this interview uh, and what Rose actually had to say, too, in the interview. And we'll come right back. Because, you know, you said you, you know, they black men are trash statistically and the white man that you put up, uh -huh. you threw him, you no, threw him uh -huh. out there with them niggas. So you taking oh, no, it back? That's what we're not going to do, though, because I never it back? said the kings were trash. I never said that. You taking I it said back? The statistics are not mm -hmm. okay. okay. I said it was trash. I never said that. I, I mean, there's a that. lot of statistic, uh, bad, ratchet black women, too. Yeah, there are. Okay, okay. Yeah. And there's yeah, also a they, lot of... There are. Unfortunately, all these, the crab in a bucket mentality, I, I get it the most from women that look like me. Uh -huh. yes, there and there's also, I could lip gloss, too. There's also, uh, <laughs> hold on. Yes, yeah, we lip gloss. And there's also uh, statistic, toxic, black wives and black mothers as well too <laughs> who no, are raising who no, are no. raising black sons with a preference uh-uh no we're not raising black sons with a preference i don't speak about like this is better or that's better in my household to my sons at all like at all they don't no you don't think they they're just... gonna watch your videos one day no, I don't think they're going to be, like, interested to, like, go back and watch stuff regarding, like, I, I don't speak that much on race, Tasha. I really don't. Like, I get that I do it here and there, but I don't. Like, every video is not about race, honey child. So, Rose, you think you would have built the audience that you built without parading the biracial relationship in front of the world? You think that's why we, we think we was following you? I mean, you are a beautiful woman, don't get me wrong. Brett, in my opinion, you know, he okay. I don't see white men that look better. You know, I'm just saying. And I know that's your husband. Girl, my man is fine. Ciao. My white savior, baby. Uh. <laughs> All I'm saying is, do you think personally we would have followed you mm -hmm. had you would have not been race baiting? Yeah, I do. I think. I did. What would we have followed? Tell us. What, Girl, what is the, it about the, you that's the, 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 the Queen Rose? Following? The Queen Rose. I'm just outspoken. I'm blunt. I'm real. I'm raw. What if the roles were reversed? What if he, being a white man, would have uploaded a video telling you how sorry of a black woman you were and how you didn't contribute? What if he were to publicly say that about you? I'm not sure. In a video when I it goes ultra viral. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I know, like, it, it's like, what if you would have did that? I mean, we're married, so I would have been mad and then got him mad, and then we would have continued our marriage, our relationship, because we're literally, like, married. Like, it's not my boyfriend. We're married. But, like, what if he did that? At what level of hurt would I have been? I'm not sure, because I'm not in the, in the, I have to be in the predicament to know what I would do. So you don't have empathy? Empathy for what? Yeah. Like, to be able to empathize with someone... <laughs> Even though you've never experienced that. So absolutely reason, I have do you yeah. lack empathy? 
No, I'm actually literally an empath. Like, if you started crying about something right now, I'm overly an emotional person where I'm going to start. And that was, that's the thing. That's where the little argument was with me being overly emotional. Overly emotional about my mom. Overly emotional about the way my husband was just going in and not being able to, you know. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to, you know troll him and troll the troll it really was not troll, for. Troll, troll your troll your savior and you paraded him and how great he is as a partner and a lover to the world right and, you didn't and he think still is that he literally still okay. is that the thing is like we are i know a lot of people really love to live in like a fairy tale world it's like oh my goodness they're a good healthy couple so like mm -mm. they don't argue at all everyone does argue sure my Every argument you know it got super viral where that was not like the mm -hmm. goal that's not where it's supposed to you know what was supposed to happen but I, I think I think everyone knows that relationships have arguments right mm -hmm. but I could tell you without a shadow of a doubt I've been married 18 years you can't find one video one text message one email of me disrespecting and emasculating my husband before the public because I'm mad at my mom. And I have a very, I had, I'm sorry, had a very toxic relationship with my mother for 15 years of my marriage. We just recently got on the same page. I had more than enough triggers to be able to upload with my husband or when somebody does something to me and then I can take it out on him. But for me to say purposely upload, go live, don't act like I didn't do this. Don't act like you don't do this. Don't, don't act like I didn't buy my car and put the bow on it. But you paraded it as if he gave you these gifts. I didn't buy my, he did, he did, <laughs> he did. And that's the thing. That's what I said. I was an emotional woman and I was talking shit. So for my husband, I don't know, maybe we're both delusional together because He's not really like tripping at all. So I'm gonna I be know, I know tripping. he ain't tripping. Most most men don't sweat. He's the not stuff. like he really but, is. So I do love that for you that you can't find any of that on you in 18 years. Listen. I love that for you. And I love how long you've been married. I love it. Um, well, it's I because I intentionally admire. don't do it. I intentionally do not disrespect or emasculate my man before anybody. I he can't that. even say that I've said that around friends. So for you to take to the internet where you make your money, both mm -hmm. of y'all make money off the internet. Make no mistake. So when you was like, don't act like my money didn't put money Thank down you. on this house. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you that, see, I'm he over there, his face in the camera, that's his money too. That's and see, this woman, she likes to throw a lot of stats around, right? Up under her, up under the arm of Brett, uh, Brett her W savior, right? And this is the thing that I always say, especially for my hardcore watchers. I mean, this girl, she she's talking about her father had 16 different children. So we know he didn't have time for her. And he wasn't a good guy early on in his life. Uh, we know that he used to uh, abuse the mom. And then the mom allegedly got her cheeks clapped by the brother. And then the brother was um, unalived. And it's just a lot of trauma, right? A lot of unresolved issues, a lot of trauma that she done left. The, our side and went over there to the W side, right? But she's not acknowledging that. But this is the thing. From the time a boy, from the time a boy, a young a man is a boy, he's supposed to be raised up with, 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 and taught how to meet the expectations and the requirements of the community. Said community, he would be in control of. If he's not taught that, then what do you expect? See, in our communities, our girls are not raised to, uh, uh, to vet men right and, 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 and pick the men the right way. We and our, Where we come from, a man's masculinity is based off below the belly button, not the, the head above the neck. I'm going to say it again. A man's masculinity is based off of what's below the belly button, not the one above the neck. And that's the way our women are conditioned to, uh, to pick. And our, man is, our men believe that all you have to do is sexualize a woman and get her to listen to you instead of his ability to produce. But let's listen to the second half of what Tasha had Tasha had to say and then I'll lay out my I'll lay it out after we're done. What the the I whole, mean like, Eminem super... Eminem cussed out his baby mama. She was white. He called her a bitch and no, no, no. we gotta understand. Friend. We have to understand there's absolutely okay. deadbeat white people. Of course. Yeah, okay. Of course. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay. Just like there's absolutely all amazing black and white married couples. Of course. 
Mm-hmm. I speak on things as a whole, you know, like the numbers, Tasha. And I, I believe deep down, I believe that you know this. Like, mm-hmm. rather you agree with me personally, mm-hmm. that's one thing. But I believe that you know that there is a disparity in the marriage rates among amongst Black women um, for a reason. And I believe that you know that as a whole, Black men can do better um at taking care of our families and, and so can black women because there are toxic black mothers out here that are just as equally as bad as black men i'm just course, very yeah. pragmatic across the board and yeah. i don't i don't you know if i'm going to call out a problem like i do it amongst light-skinned women right light-skinned women have a privilege right and when i see them settle i i challenge them on making better decisions like you do not have to be this pretty girl privilege doesn't have to be your downfall you understand Mm -hmm. what i'm saying and so Mm -hmm. i always try to find a way to praise them while not beating them down right Mm -hmm. by letting them know their value but when you have someone online who makes content directed at pissing off black men by parading your relationship as better and if black more black women just stepped outside of the box to date, they would find better. And it's not the case because a lot of black women have issues that they're carrying from black men or from their fathers who have multiple children. And there's no way you could sit here and tell me your daddy was all the way there for you with 16 damn children. There's just my no daddy, way. My daddy okay? handled his. He wasn't, you know, right. he did. So he you, was you, a you have issues. That you come with, and so do black men. So just like you have issues that you still have not dealt with, so do black men. But for you to expect to say, hey, uh, you need to get your shit together or I'm going over here, that's another way for you to run from your own issues too because it took two to create those kids. It's not about you have issues, I'm going over here. Like I said in the beginning. Yeah, that's what you did. You no, you no, no, literally no. left the black community based on statistics and your no. own issues. No, no, no. I actually left the black community. Into an interracial relationship and you cussing him out the same way you cussed out your black baby daddy. Just that. because he's been a that. white we're try- I love that we're trying to make one uh, argument the staple of a, a relationship. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. No, these are your views. People can believe or feel how they want to feel about that. But did I run from black men because of whatever no i found my husband like I you said would you me. would be with a you would probably prefer to be with a black man and that's why you're angry and i find that i'm not i don't black desire men. it yeah I don't I, desire that, it. but you don't my desire it open, so you're I'm you're dating white men by default I'm because 29. of how black men have treated you i'm 29 i'm not ugly i don't have I ain't a about problem. Saying nothing about you being ugly i'm right, saying right, right. that i know you're not. So black I'm, saying, I'm 29 i'm not ugly my options are available like i'm not but dating sure, i'm gonna be honest with you you may not be ugly but your attitude and how you gave your husband that business to the world is very ugly. So you can Absolutely. be beautiful. Of course, an and there are a lot of beautiful arguments. Listen, there are a lot of beautiful black women that are, are, are 1,000. Fuck a 10, uh-huh. they're 1,000. But they ugly and tainted on the inside based off of them not dealing with their own experiences. Black women have a problem thinking that men are supposed to save them. You save yourself. Once you save yourself, you will attract men from all races, just as I do. I could go into Africa. I could go in America. I could. Same. I could go into Asia Same. and attract any type Same. of man. But for me to isolate my feelings Same. towards one race, and I'm raising a black son. It's so interesting that you think no that. That's different than a black man. You, I literally just told you that I am. My idea is to have women expand their horizons. I was never looking for a white man when I found him. I was actually with a Filipino but guy. You said you actually, found at the him. exact time. But you found him. He didn't find you. He found you. I was with you the Filipino time at the exact, a Filipino man at the exact time that I got with my husband and a black man before that. So I wasn't looking for white men only. I got with one and now it is my preference. It wasn't before when I found him. Now it is my preference. So it's just preference. Like I don't I don't feel like it's like, oh you're like stop dating completely. No, it's just my preference. And that's I, like I just think, I is just your think preference black men? My preference are all men. 
Oh, okay, mine too. And yeah, so I love but that I, for you, and but, that's what I'm, I'm but here's the thing: I don't need to put down a black man to put up one. You literally oh. put down black men to put up your white husband. Wait, wait, and if when you did still I do cuss that? him out, because your attitude, I'm going to be honest with you, is the reason why a lot of black men don't want to be fucked up with us, right? You're giving that same attitude that black men complain about to a white man. And you're saying, oh, because he takes it, because he's more meek than a black man, because he appears stronger than a black man, then he must be better than a black man. It's no different than a black my man that lays up with Becky than any man and of says any that, oh, black women are in. Not because of no, his race. My man you, is better you're, than honestly, any man of any race because he's my husband. But honestly, Tasha, what well, I want to say to you is. Go ahead. What I want to say to you is, like I said, this isn't about when. When did I bash? May you, um, girl, you bashing me. your videos all the time. You, I look at your comments. When, when, where's the when you example of me bash of me? I can pull. Go ahead, girl. Do you want me to pull the? Would you like to see the receipts of you? I would like to see raising your white of husband. To piss off black men because black men did you if wrong. Black men are pissed off, Tasha. They need to do better. Okay, if they're pissed off, what about you doing? Do it better. takes a black man and a black about, woman to be my better. My videos are not about pissing off black men at all whatsoever. I would like to see. Listen, I'm calm, but I would like to see a video where I was actually. Talk down and talk shit on the black men. I don't. Right. I don't no, it. you, you, black fathers need to do. Black men need to do better. Black, you, I don't ever see you saying white men need to do better. White men need to be better fathers. I don't ever see you saying that. In, in your titles, is black men bad fathers, black men bad husbands, black men. That's you don't say true, that about Tasha. white men. And you've only had one experience I think with that one. You're speaking with on what you hear from your commenters. Farmer white man who has a fetish for black women. How do you Your figure he has a fetish for how black women? He has a fetish. Why would you, you say, say that? How do you, you figure that? Fetish for white men, based off of your experiences, you're no different than a black man who parades Blasian women or Persian women or white women and say, "Oh, the reason I'm with you is because a black woman doesn't do this." When they, in reality, would prefer to be with a black woman, but. We're not seeing eye to eye because we have these made up facades of what we think relationships are. When you're in an ideal relationship, that would eventually be the same if you were in it with a black man. A black man would be very regular. He may make six figures. He may not be an entrepreneur. He may not be on the go-go all the time like that. But because he's black, he's expected to do more than what a, a farmer from Iowa is doing and he's white, but you give him a pass because he's he white, but if he's a black My man, husband does oh, he needs to do more. My husband is there for his family. Like I said, he makes, he makes six figures. But what I would like to know is respectfully, what would make you? You don't even know him from a canopy. What would make you? I don't need. I know what you put out about him, girl, and nobody's really. What would, you, what would make you, you like automatically that? assume that he has a fetish? Most white men do. Okay. That's why they intentionally divided the races okay. because our women to them looked more desirable. Then they're okay. women. So that's the thing. Of, so they of, fucked of, of, us when and black left people, us biracial kids. That's the thing. They when black people us see an interracial couple, they automatically... Kids. And when did the, black, the same shit black men are doing now. They did it to the slaves. They was fucking the slave women, left them with babies they didn't claim, didn't leave them no damn land or nothing like that, didn't leave them no assets and left bastard babies too. And how dare you get up on a platform and say black men need to do better when they learn the book from the white man, the very cracker you sleeping with right now. Bye, Rose. So we see Tasha K blow up on her and say, you know, you, you, you're talking about these uh, these black men, but you, you're raising a black boy. You're raising black boys. And I don't think that a lot of times a lot of women take into account with that. You know, they're going through their unresolved issues of trauma, emotional trauma, um, and they, they live in that just that lens. They don't see anything outside of that lens where people say, you know, we can see you, right? You need help. You need to go get some help. Because if you just were so happy with your W man, you wouldn't be talking about black men. It's nothing else to talk about. You you finally found happiness. You moved on. Why is all your video about what uh, black men need to do and you got your W, man? You're good, right? But that lets us know that there's something going on. There's something else going on. And, and, like, and like I said, in our communities, uh, masculinity is, is told to us 
with, like I said, the head below the belly button, not the one above the neck. And our women, our women choose men based off of how good he can sex, sex her. And we, and, 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 and um, instead of choosing the man with his ability to produce based off of his environment, a lot of us in our communities, we're not being raised like that. So the black man and the black woman, neither one of them, for the most part, are fit to meet the requirements that it would take to actually have to actually sustain a, a, a good community. It's not just the black man's fault. He has a mom and a father. And a lot of these women uh, don't know how to pick the right men. A lot of these men don't understand sacrifice and legacy and what it takes to actually build a community. I've been talking about this forever. Casual sex rules the day in our community. Now we now we have a flip side because we have a lot of great people in our community. And everybody, everybody in the community ain't out making babies and being ratchet and running wild. That's not the totality of the black community. So let's not get that twisted either. That's not the totality of the community. We have a lot of good stuff going on. Everything is happening at the same time, man. So, you know, this 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 lady Rose, she clearly needs some help. She clearly suffering from some mental health issues. And Tasha K clearly called it out. She called it out. But she thinks, and, and, and sad part is, because in our communities, a lot, a lot of our women, they don't think nothing wrong with them until it's too, you know, until they start getting older. You know what I mean? You know, until it's too late. So we have a lot of dysfunction on both sides, the black man and the black woman. We suffer, you know, uh, um, through a lot of different traumas that, that unresolved issues that need to be dealt with. And you can clearly see hers playing out. In closing, you know, the way she berated her, her husband, the way she berated her husband that easy like that before the world, I guarantee you she used to talk to her black husband that way too. She didn't just stop. It didn't just stop with him because she did it too easy. That's a big 6'5 man. She did it with no fear, right? So we, we clearly see that she has some issues that need to be ironed out. My wife don't talk to me like that ever. That's not happening. But again, you know, I'm going to cut it short here. If you made it this far in the video, hit the like button, subscribe to Street Media TV. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.